Hi there and welcome to the Daily Arsenal News Show. Let's dive into today's top stories. Talksport Pound says 27 million pound Arsenal player always delivers for Arteta. Talksport's Tony Cascarino has been chatting about Arsenal this morning and had some words of praise for Leandro Trossard. Trossard was given the chance to stake his claim in attack again with the Gunners having injury problems and he once again showed he can deliver. The Belgian bravely stole and to score the opening goal and set Arsenal firmly on their way to a big three points against the Clarets. And while a new signing Kai Havertz has struggled, former striker and now pounded Cascarino believes that Trossard has shown himself to be a really useful addition. Speaking on Talk Sport, Cascarino had praise for Trossard, albeit with a small deck at Havertz in there as well. He said, You've had a good start to a season after a tremendous season last year, where you were second in the title race. You had an amazing summer with the transfer that you did okay. I don't include Havertz in that one, but I include a few others. But you look at your transfer system. I mean Trossard has been really good as a squad player that will deliver for you. He's been good at that. His goal yesterday was full of courage, getting himself in a dangerous position, prepared to get hurt. He scores the goal to open the game up and I think you have to be optimistic. Trossard has continued to shine when given his chance by Mikel Arteta and the £27 million they spent on him from Brighton continues to look like fine business. With Gabriel Jesus continually having injury problems and Edin Ketea still inconsistent, Trossard's role this season will be massive again. It really is all about the squad game when it comes to winning the title and if Arsenal do end up snatching it, then Trossard will have no doubt played a big role. 22-year-old Arsenal player has now set a new Premier League record in win against Burnley yesterday. Arsenal star Bukayo Saka has now achieved an incredibly impressive record in the Premier League after his assist against Burnley yesterday. Saka is now the only Arsenal player in the Premier League history to score or assist against every side he's faced in the competition. The midfielder's assist against Burnley means he has now contributed to a goal against all 24 of the sides he's faced in the league that was a stat shared on X by football data expert Harvey Dowens. Of course, when you consider the players that have come before Saka at Arsenal, it's a mind-blowing statistic, and the England international was even slightly unfortunate not to bag a goal for his troubles as well in the first half. Much like the rest of the Arsenal team, Saka has looked incredibly energized in these two comeback victories at the Emirates this week. And heading into the international break, it seems those two losses on the road have now been firmly left behind for Mikel Arteta's side. Of course, it certainly wasn't just Saka that impressed for Arsenal against Burnley yesterday. Mikel Arteta thought Jorginho was outstanding in his role, a player who is now becoming incredibly important to this Arsenal side. Moreover, Ian Wright was one of many celebrating the excellent game William Saliba had at both ends of the pitch yesterday. It certainly was a feel-good win for the Gunners, even if it wasn't as straightforward as hoped. But with all this missing this week, Mikel Arteta has surely learned a lot about his extended squad and particularly about Leandro Trossard. Mikel Arteta blown away by outstanding £12 million Arsenal player versus Burnley yesterday. After a much-needed win against Burnley yesterday, Mikel Arteta has now hipped the praise on Arsenal midfielder Jorginho. Arteta was speaking to be in sports after the game and was asked about an injury issue Jorginho suffered in the second half for Arsenal. And whilst giving an update on the Italian's condition, the Arsenal boss couldn't help but praise the role he was now playing, Arteta said. Well, I haven't checked him, but for him to come off obviously, it was certain cuts he had and they could not stitch it there. The way he performed, the way he competed, outstanding, he is a very important player for me. 
Of course, Jorginho's role in this side has grown immensely since Thomas Partey picked up his latest injury issue. Signing for £12 million almost a year ago, the 31-year-old has played a crucial role at times and was effective again against Burley yesterday. Jorginho kept the game ticking over at the base of midfield and did actually win some important duels on the halfway line to sustain some Arsenal pressure. There has been a lot of suggestions that Arsenal would be better off returning Declan Rice to the pivot of their midfield right now. Rice was once again deployed in a more advanced position and impressed as ever against Burley, and whilst Arsenal will face tougher tests to come, it bodes well that Jorginho is playing consistently well enough for Arteta to use Rice elsewhere. The only negative for the Gunners yesterday was the red card to Fabio Vieira late on. Vieira has now been heavily criticised by some for his unnecessary challenge and perhaps the biggest frustration does come in the wake of all of Arsenal's injuries, although he didn't start yesterday, many felt as if Fabio Vieira could benefit from some important minutes as Martin Odegaard slowly made his return. However, Vieira will have a watching brief for the next three games. Mikel Arteta says 26-year-old Arsenal player is critical for how the team plays. Arsenal manager Mikel Arteta praised Zenshinko following the Gunners' 3-1 win over Burnley on Saturday. The Arsenal boss, speaking to Football London after the game, said the 26-year-old is critical for how the Gunners play against teams like the Clarets. Arteta also liked how defensively committed Zenshinko was on Saturday and also how eager he was to get on the ball for his goal. Zenshinko got the ball rolling at the Emirates Stadium, crossing to Bukayo Saka, who in turn nodded for Leandro Trossard to open the scoring in the first half. The Ukraine international wrapped up the scoring in the 74th minute with a superb scissor kicking over the defense and into the top corner of the net. Zinchenko also caused Burley all sorts of problems throughout the game with his crosses to the far post and was solid defensively. Arteta said about Zinchenko's display, very happy with him, especially against these teams, the fluidity, the threat that he brings, the spaces that he occupies and opens for other players is critical. I really liked how defensively committed he was. The goal is a really good example of how he is living the game. When the ball is far from him, he is the first on the ball. That's why he scores the goal. That's what we need from him. Zinchenko has been a superb signing for Arsenal, helping the Gunners go up a level since his arrival. Signing him was a masterstroke from Edu and Arteta. Despite being a left back on the team sheet, he is able to operate as an auxiliary centre midfielder, as he did against the Clarets. The 26-year-old is critical for how the team plays, and with him being in his prime, it will be exciting to see how much he contributes to Arsenal in pursuit of a glory this season and beyond. Pounded blast ridiculously shocking Arsenal player versus Burnley. Talk sport pounded Barry Groves has had a go at Arsenal star Fabio Vieira after he got himself a red card for a Patrick Vieira like challenge against Burnley. The Gunners were the dominant side for large part of the game and deservedly picked up the win. Goals from Leandro Trossard, William Saliba, and Zinchenko sealed the win despite Vieira silly sending off. Arsenal signed Fabio Vieira from Porto for £34 million last year. The 23-year-old is a hugely talented player. He is good on the ball, has a great vision and also the ability to create and score goals. He is brilliant in games where he has a lot of space to work with. The one thing Vieira isn't really good at, despite sharing his last name with the great Patrick Vieira, is a strong challenges to win the ball back. In the game against Burnley yesterday, when Arsenal were in complete control, Vieira caught Josh Brownhill high on his knee while attempting to control the ball. It was one of those cases where it looks a lot worse in slow motion and in still images than it actually was. But Vieira deserved the red card, and referee Michael Oliver got the decision right. Speaking about the challenge on Talk Sport, Perry Grove said, 
It's exactly the right decision from Michael Oliver. It's a really, really silly challenge from Fabio Vieira. He's gone right over the top of the ball. It's a straight leg challenge. Studs up, gets Josh Brownhill on his knee. Michael Oliver has absolutely no option but to send Fabio Vieira off. I think he is having an identity crisis. He thinks he is Patrick Vieira because it was a ridiculously shocking challenge. It was reckless. It's dangerous. And Michael Oliver had no option whatsoever but to send him off. He didn't even need VAR. Fabio Vieira's red card didn't have any impact on the result of the game, which is good news for Arsenal as they completely deserve to win. However, the negative here is that Vieira will be suspended for the next three Premier League games. Arsenal really could have done without that at a time when they are already missing Martin Odegaard and Smith Rowe, who are both injured. If at least one of Odegaard or Smith Rowe doesn't return after the international break, Arsenal could find themselves in real trouble in that area of the pitch. Pounded says £100,000 a week Arsenal is so much better now, but still isn't good enough. Arsenal were so close to winning the Premier League last season and they will be hoping to go one step further and be crowned as champions this season. The North London club have gotten off to a great start this season but there is still this nagging feeling that they are lacking a striker who can score regularly enough. The Gunners have been relying on Gabriel Jesus as their starting striker over the past 12 months, but this term, Edin Kataya has started more often than not due to a number of injuries to the Brazilian. Speaking on the Premier League All Access podcast, Scott Minto has been questioning in Kataya's ability, claiming that while the striker is much improved, he still isn't the player to lead Arsenal to a Premier League title. Minto said, I think he is not your ideal number 9 to be honest with you. You want Jesus or you want Nketaya? I think Nketaya has improved a lot but he is not the player to take you to a Premier League title. Trossard is a wide player who can be very clever. He can play that role but I wouldn't want him there for 10 to 15 games. He can dip in and dip out. Edin Kataya may not be good enough to lead Arsenal to a Premier League title as a starting striker, but that's not what his role is meant to be. Gabriel Jesus is Arsenal's first choice centre forward and he is certainly good enough to help a team to a league title. Jesus is a three-time Premier League winner from his time at Manchester City and, as we have seen in recent years, you don't need a 20-goal-a-season number 9 to win the league Liverpool and Manchester City, they had Roberto Firmino or Phil Foden playing as a false nines in recent titles wins. Onai Emery and Aston Villa are not happy after finding out what Arsenal have just done. Aston Villa bosses are reportedly unhappy with the tactics Arsenal are using to lure Douglas Luiz away from them in January. The Gunners are expected to be on the market for a new midfielder in the summer. Thomas Partey has undergone a procedure on his tie and is expected to be out for a while as a result. He has AFCON duties to fulfill in January as well, which is why Luiz is reportedly being eyed as a replacement for the Ghanaian. It's no secret at this point that Arsenal are big admirers of Douglas Luiz. The Gunners tried very hard to sign him on summer transfer deadline day last year, but Villa stood firm and he stayed put in the end. Arsenal's interest in Luiz has not gone away. Fabrizio Romano revealed this week that the Brazilian is on top of Mikel Arteta and Edu's wish list for January. The Aston Villa man is apparently viewed as perfect by people inside the Emirates Stadium. Now, if team talk are to be believed, the wheels are already in motion over a move in January and Aston Villa are not pleased about that. The report claims that the bosses at Villa Park are unhappy with some of the tactics employed by Arsenal to persuade Lewis to join them in January. It has further been claimed that Arsenal will make a move in the winter window, but Aston Villa are set to play hardball and demand a huge fee to let him go. When Arsenal tried to sign Douglas Louise last year, their third and final bid was worth £25 million. The Gunners refused to go higher than that. 
Now, if Arsenal really want to sign him, they will have to pay over twice as much as the above figure. The report claims that Aston Villa are set to demand at least £60 million for Louise in January. Only Jackie Grealish left Villa Park for a bigger fee. It will be interesting to see if Arsenal will be willing to pay such a huge fee for Louise in January when someone like Martin Zubimande will be available for £53 million. As we wrap up today's Arsenal news, remember to stay tuned for daily updates right here on the channel. Don't miss out on the latest updates, so make sure to hit that subscribe button and give us a like if you found this information valuable. Your support means the world to us. Thanks for watching and until next time, take care.